Well, welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. We're on the job here in Western North Carolina on some spring water. A little bit unusual in that this is the boys set up. Uh, up here is the water collection. And of course, it flows into a spring box. And right here, some overflow coming out of it right now. He's got it turned off. But what he has here is a thousand gallon tank buried because then below this rock is a very low producing well that summertime comes and all it can't produce enough for the house so then they want to supplement it with the spring water but this spring as i'm going to show you has a lot of suspended material in it which means the spring's really coming out of the dirt more than out of rock and the box here stays clogged up with Carolina's little holes drilled in their pipe. Um, the tank is going to be, have to be cleaned out because it's full of dirt, but then it's pumped up to the house. And at the house, he has a replaceable filter, a spin-down filter, a replaceable filter, a UV light. And he said it's every week, two weeks, it's just full of dirt. So we're going to, I built this monstrosity of a spring box with four filters in it to replace that one because right now it just moves the water it catches the heavy sediment but there's really not that much heavy sediment most of it's real fine dirt that's just suspended in the water so this is a four filter spring box I built we're gonna put it there but it's gonna be something unusual that this spring box of course is going to go into the tank but on that tank, there's going to be a valve, a float valve, that when the tank is full, it's going to shut off the spring water. And he wants to try to rely on all the well water he can possibly get, because of course it's going to be cleaner. And then if the place is rented out and people use more water, then the spring water will fill the tank up. I don't know if I've made myself clear, but let's go ahead and get started on this project. Hell get a little bit better as it goes along. Well, this is the first one they captured. And as you can see, I mean, there's all kind of water flowing, but created a hole. And then he was trying to use part of that to filter part of the water. It didn't really work. So then they came up here and captured this one. But as you can see, there's surface water coming over top of it that we're going to have to overcome. So we're going to get in here right now and try to see what all he's got right here. And see if we can't capture back up in there and see what we come up with. Well, right over here is the spring water. And right down here, and of course you can see this is the surface water that's flowing on top and this. So we're going to try to encapsulate this right here and cover over top here and get all this surface water to run over top. We're basically going to build an earthen sand filter right here to try to clean some of it out and just try to collect the spring water without trying, like I said, it's flowing here and on the sides without collecting a whole lot of this surface water. But as you can tell, when it rains, this thing here becomes a gully washer. And what they end up with is all this mud right here in there. And that's the problem they've been having. So we're gonna isolate this thing and build some pre-filters for it and some rock and sand. We'll take you along for the build. Three, two, one. Well, here it is. I've changed designs going from an earthen filter, kind of almost constructing a, a pool filter type thing. I've cut off about 14 inches high, a 55 gallon drum. And what this is, is a piece of gutter that you actually put down for a driveway. Underneath that screen wire is the regular old grate you would drive over. 
what I have for a collection is a piece of hardware cloth I'll show you bent in the oval over around the collection pipe to filter out some more dirt notched the barrel there made this one about an inch and a half deeper to give it an angle and you'll see what we're gonna do is put a piece of metal here to direct the flow just over the screen wire and then when it rains and a lot more sediment and dirt and water comes down hopefully it'll shed off the sides of it and all the bucket and the filter won't be catching everything so this is the basic part of the collection system and all i've done take a piece of one inch plastic pipe drill quarter inch holes and on this application i'm going to set them sideways it will then fit inside this wire cage to be in the bottom of that spring with the hole sideways this time and then we'll take this filter fabric and wrap around it so that any dirt or sediment has to go through a couple layers of this filter fabric before it'll get into it and as we get above it we're going to be putting gravel filter fabric we're going to have rock sand and we're going to keep building that thing up so it'll actually be like a regular earth filter to try to get everything in and out of there okay i've got layers of filter fabric filled up to the top of the barrel and all the way on the angles the sides are cut down lower and what i've got is this 30 mil liner this epd liner i'm going to screw down underneath the screen there and i'll screw down underneath the screen on that side and then we're going to end up with this piece on here We're going to go up here and channel the spring to where it runs on here. And the only thing that's going to go down into the catchment basin is this little three inch narrow gap. And when it rains hard, everything else will go off to the sides, hopefully, and keep all the dirt and sediment from getting in there and try to supplement their, their water system. So we're going to clean out all this dirt and mud, get down to the rock, and we're going to dig in a piece of 30 mil fabric so all the water comes down over it put some rocks all over it and direct it this way let's get to that point and i'll bring you back well here it is i had to finally put the cut half of it got the half of the uh, gutter cap on that thing to back up enough water the one inch line is running full but it's working out really good right now the uh Water comes down, slides over the roofing here, this EPDM roofing, goes right into the slot, and it's not even going six inches, it's going right through that surgical stainless steel, right into the catch basin. And hopefully when it rains next time, it'll keep this dirt washed off, but it's already filtering out all the sand, grit, gravel, you name it. And this part of it's working right now. Well, this to date is about the largest spring box I've built and I said I'd take you on the build so this is a like 30 gallon drum we cut down six eight inches and let me show you the inside of it we're now running four filters in here and they make this filter here then they make one twice the size which would then have four times the amount of surface area so let me show you let me take this thing apart and show you how it, how it's all done and the purpose for it well here's the in inflow part of it and in order to disperse to disperse the water i've got holes drilled all the way around the bottom of this whole thing and of course it will sit it'll sit in the bottom of the drum all pushed together don't glue nothing but this will be the inflow from the spring it'll come in go down this pipe and force the water down the bottom and slowly disperse the water out to try to keep it from uh, going straight to the filter and let me put this then here's the filter housing 
and of course that'll be the outflow and once again it's just my same old thing three quarter inch pipe with holes drilled all down on the pipe so when the water comes in it has to go through the filter in order to get out and let me put that in there and kind of show you what that looks like so here it is together of course the spring water comes in top goes down to that lower square and that's where the water will come out of course as it builds up hopefully settles out some of that stuff it goes into the filter through the holes in the pipe on this other square here and goes out the outflow pipe here then that, that'll go to the tank and this one here here will just be your standard overflow because like i said this one here we're going to put a shutoff valve down into the storage tank and when the storage tank is full it'll shut off this will fill up and then it'll just come out the overflow to keep from filtering all the water that just goes back into the creek well here it is hooked up it's running right now input uh, water coming in is like 6.5 gallons a minute so times 1440 gallons a day is like 9300 gallons of water or something like that coming into the spring box and the filters enough that um the outflow of course going through the filters and as they get dirty it'll slow down a little bit more i had to drill a second one inch overflow line so uh, let me go ahead and take the lid off and i'll kind of show you what it looks like working well here it is running we got four filters at least six and a half gallons of water a minute coming in it's going through the four filters very little bit if any going out through the overflow right now it's not being dumped in the tank we've got to pump the tank down we're going to vacuum all the dirt out with a little wet dry vac i got to buy one of them things that belong to the landowner and john i think that's the slickest thing i've seen i don't own one so it's another toy i got to add to my toy box but we're gonna show you this thing filling up and something else that i planned on but didn't quite work the way i wanted it to so back to the drawing board Well, here's a picture of the thousand gallon water tank storing up and this is the pump that's on and this is the well water coming in and you can see the floats for the high and low on it and then right there in a minute here i'll be pointing and it is the uh pump at the bottom of the tank that then runs it up to the house and it's sitting down the bottom but if i can ever be a help to you and help you out with a system or fix something do something build it it's what we do don't hesitate to call give me a shout talk to you all then thank you for watching bye